Hey, what is going on guys? My name is Josh Keatley and today I want to show you in the new zombie DLC map exactly how the plants work, what type of plants there are, and how you can get the certain type of plant every single time. Now as soon as you start out in the spawn, you're going to come across a bucket. There's always one bucket in the spawn, usually right around the middle of the map. When you pick up the bucket, it's going to have some type of water in it. It's either going to be purple, blue, or green. That is the three different types of water, the three different types of element 115 now there are different buckets all over the map there's usually one in every area so if you're playing co-op every player can get a bucket it works just like the shovels and origins you can only get one per person now you're also gonna get seed drops you're gonna see the drops everywhere they drop just like double points wood or insta kill and you pick the seed up it goes in your inventory you only have to pick up one bucket but you keep getting more and more seeds you can only carry three at a a time though now there's different spots all over the map where you can plant your seed you'll see them on the ground and when you go up to them they'll say hold square to plant seed and that's all you do is just hold square and you plant the seed now if you don't water the seed which I don't recommend doing then two rounds later plant will grow and you can harvest it just like the shadows of evil pod but it'll be really weak you'll get something like a grenade or you know a really crappy weapon so I recommend just never doing that if you want to plant your seed and then water it you can water every single round when you water it you can do that three times and then on the third round it'll grow into a certain type of plant i'm going to go over the three different plants here let's first start with blue if you go to the left side of the map you go to building a behind building a there's element 115 the blue kind you fill your buckets with the blue 115 then you plant your seed you water your seed with the blue water now, i'm not 100 sure i know you can water it the next round and the round after that until it fully grows i'm not sure if you water every single round if that helps the plant become stronger or better in any way or if you just have to water it one time i'm definitely going to do some more experiments and get back to you guys on that if you know definitely let me know but how you plant the seed you water it with the blue water and the same thing will happen it'll become a plant that you harvest but since you watered it with the blue water you're going to get better drops you're going to get things like the death machine fire sale better weapon drops and just a really good plant I believe it gives you max ammo as well so if you're going for high rounds you know you can constantly do this to get max ammo get fire sales get cool stuff that you really need now let's go ahead and talk about the green plant if you go to the right side of the map behind building B there's the green element 115 water you put that in your bucket after you put your seed down you water it with the green water and when you're planting grows it'll turn into a plant that knocks the legs off of zombies and then stabs the crawler zombie and holds the crawler in the air for you and this is very helpful to save the last zombie so that the round doesn't end if you're easter egg hunting you're trying to do something important in the game that plant will hold that crawler zombie indefinitely till you go over there and kill that zombie which is very very useful now the last one to talk about is the purple plant and this is hands down my favorite plant now the purple water is pretty hidden I think a lot of people don't know it even exists but you go into the main building where Jug is where the pack-a-punch machine is and you take the door to the right of the pack-a-punch area and you go into the area where you get the pack-a-punch machine part by knifing the cocoon zombies and you go to the very back corner and you'll see the purple water go ahead and fill your bucket up with the purple water now what the purple plant does is it works almost like the little Arnie's from Shadows of Evil. All the zombies and even the Thrasher is attracted to the plant. And the plant has this hand type of thing that takes the zombie's head right off their shoulders. It's pretty amazing. Now the zombies and the Thrasher beast will try to destroy the plant. So you do have to kind of protect it a little bit. And having a turn zombie works really well. I realize that the turn zombie doesn't hurt your plant at all. He acts like he's attacking it but really he's not. So this is extremely extremely helpful because all the zombies instead of attacking you They go straight for the plant and your plant kills the zombies. It works like an extremely long monkey It works like an extremely long little Arnie from Shadows of Evil And you can stay there forever by your plant just protect your plant And I think this is gonna be used for a high round strategy And you can build a whole bunch of these all over the map and just help protect you in every single area This plant is overpowered extremely 
crazy. And it's one of those things I tested it out. I feel like when I watered it three times with purple water, I feel like it was a stronger plant. Like it took many rounds for the zombies and the thrasher to destroy it. I was letting them destroy it, waiting for them to destroy it. It took a long time. So I'm definitely gonna play around with that more. See if you know you only have to water it one time or if you should water it every round. I feel like watering it every round does make it stronger. And something that I wonder too is if you mix and match the colors. You know, like what if you use purple, blue, and green all at one time? Now I tried that and nothing spectacular happened, but maybe there is a certain color combination that does something. I'm gonna test it out a lot more, experiment around with it. And big thanks to Lord Speaking Him. He did help me out with this. We were talking about this on Twitter, what the plants do. Big, big shout out to him. Make sure to go check out his channel. He has some really great Black Ops 3 zombie videos. And that is all I got for you guys. I do want to thank you so much for watching my video and you have a great day today.